Good morning. Oh, good morning. Oh. Oh. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today is a day to do a video of winter van life. After rest, time for coffee. <laughs> Fuel for the day. So last night we drove out from Calgary and stayed in the Lake Louise overflow parking lot. Um, there were a ton of vans parked in here, so we weren't too worried. Uh, this overflow parking lot is a popular place to stay overnight in the summertime, but in the winter time, it can be a little, little hit or miss depending on how much snow is on the ground and whether it's been plowed or maintained at all. So yeah, we kind of lucked out last night and we only have a 15 minute drive to the hill, which is sick. Yeah, another really good place to stay is the Lake Louise um, campground because there's showers, there's bathrooms, and it's super nice. And it's only $22 a night or something? Yeah, something like that. Between $20 and $30 a night. Ready? Ready. We are just about ready to head to the ski hill. We just looked and saw that it's minus 15 now, so hopefully it warms up today. <laughs> oh, minus 14. Very good. I love when the sun comes up and hits the mountain. It's so pretty. Oh. oh shit, that's your water bottle. David likes to leave water bottles with no lids just sitting around the van. And luckily this time that one was empty, but we're not always so lucky. She's so hot. <laughs> Billy, come here. We're coming out this way. Did you go for a walk? Just pulled up the hill. Kaylee took Bailey out for a little walk before we leave her in the van for a few hours and the sun is coming up. It looks beautiful. Sorry, the skylight's pretty dirty. You probably can't see much, but the hill's right there. Um, park's super close, which is nice. And we already have our tickets because I purchased them online. So we can basically just hit the gondola and me and Kaylee actually just started skiing this year because we'd like to do a little more backcountry stuff. We've been snowboarding for a long time, but decided to make the transition. We're still going to go snowboarding. Of course, we still have all of our gear, but we do just like to learn how to ski. So it might be a slow day, but it's going to be a fun one. All right, so it's breakfast time. Standard go to is kind of like fancy avocado toast with egg and cheese. Pretty pumped about it. This breakfast never gets old. Mm -hmm. It does get messier though. Mm -hmm. I think we just stack it higher and higher every time. Let's go skiing. Here's your phone, she's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> finished our first run and it is beautiful out clear skies sun is out mountains are beautiful and it warmed up finished up our morning of skiing and it is about noon and I'm sure my hair is pretty wild but we just got back to the van 
I took Bailey for a little walk and Kaylee is cooking up some lunch. Big progress today on the ski hill. Yeah. Too much? Too much. Too much food. <laughs> We're rolling down the hill this afternoon. <laughs> David's got like some sort of an open face sandwich situation going on over there. Over here, I've got an omelet and a little bit of salad. All right, time to go back out and all fueled up. I'm ready to go. Ready to rock. Billy's gonna hold down the fork. <laughs> That's our security system right there. So it is about 2.30 on the last run down the hill. My legs were so tired, I was having a hard time stopping. So this is what usually happens. I usually come to the van and then David does a couple more runs. I've just got a drink. I'm gonna read my book and cozy up with Bay. Um, it's kind of funny, actually last weekend, I was doing this exact same thing, same position. And then I heard something to my left and there is a man just like peeping in the window. It's really funny. People get really curious about the van, but then I, was startled and looked over and he saw me and he was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, and he was quite embarrassed. So if you're gonna go peeping into vans, just be aware that someone might be hanging out in there. <laughs> Who's that? Hi there. Who's that baby? I know, it's very exciting. It's the best part of the day. Hey. How was your last few runs? Great. Good. <laughs> no falls. Wonderful. Calls, maybe. <laughs> Hard day on the hill. <laughs> Tough life in paradise. I'll tell you what. <laughs> so we took Bailey for a little bit of a walk, and now we are on our way to the Bath Gondola for night rise. So. We've never been before. We're not exactly sure what to expect, but it looks really cool. So we're excited to take you guys along. Oh, music. Wow. So romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. And the lights go on to the music. It's perfect. So um, but we were just talking about the last time we've been here. It was been like seven or eight years since we've come up the Yeah, a long time ago. So I feel like this will be the best of both worlds too because you come up Welcome before. To oh. my ride. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> we have a super clear night tonight too, which is really exciting. No wind. Well, we'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> So beautiful. Why do you want to pop? I'm going to stop. Thank you. You're welcome. So nice. Hopefully you guys can hear us all right. It's kind of windy up here, but it is Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. so beautiful. Yeah, yeah um, I can't believe we haven't actually been up here more. It's like mm -hmm. absolutely stunning. The nice thing about this night ride too is like you come up a little bit before sunset, you can watch, like you stayed in the daytime, watch the sun go down, and then you're at night. Starts out. Yeah, we just did a little walk. It's probably like a kilometer maybe under the Yeah. From the gondola, it's really well maintained. There's steps the whole way, and yeah, highly recommend doing this walk when you get here because the views are crazy.
marshmallows for roasting on the fires. Very excited about that. This is uh, how my marshmallows usually turn out. We'll see if David can do a better job. <laughs> Bar's low. <laughs> no, I'm definitely gonna set this thing on fire for sure. It's looking pretty good. It's not really all that crispy to my liking, but. I win. So we just got back from Night Rise and it was so cool. It was beautiful. Yeah. So there's different kind of interpretive centers where the lights swirl around on the ground. They tell different stories about the area. Yep. And you can also eat dinner there. We were not together enough to make a reservation. And there's a coffee shop. Yeah, if there's you're a there in the shop. morning. Big recommendation is to go before it gets dark because it's really cool when it's dark with all the lights and stuff. But it's kind of cool to get there before and yeah. do the walk and then watch the sunset and then. If it's a clear night, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. And also, there's been some incredible shots overlooking Banff and also star the like the stargazing is yeah. phenomenal up there too. So definitely keep that in mind. We stopped and got pad thai <laughs> from a restaurant called pad thai. Yeah. So. <laughs> We've actually never eaten here before, but it's in Banff and we were like, nah, I don't really feel like cooking, so. Yeah, I would say probably 90% of the time for dinners in the band we cook, but every once in a while we go out for dinner or we get takeout. Mm -hmm. We left Bailey alone a lot today, so we decided to get takeout, but we're pretty pumped. Time to eat. Time to eat. Looks so good. <laughs> mm. Oh, that happens often. <laughs> My head is just perfect level always to like smack this because I'm always standing under the sunlight, under the skylight. It's always just like whack all the time. <laughs> it's very entertaining for me. Keeps me on my toes. <laughs> okay, the consensus on the Thai food. Unfortunately, pad Thai. Not so good. Not so good, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, we're quite picky when it comes to pad thai, to be honest. It was like our favorite thing to get in Thailand. So, um, but the green curry is really good, coconut rice really good, and the gyoza were good. So, three out of four isn't bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed Lake Louise and the Banff Gondola. If you have any questions, be sure to comment them down below. Yeah, um, we hope we gave you a good look into van life. Honestly, it's different every day, depending mm -hmm. on what we're up to. Yep. But um, yeah, we usually got some kind of activities going on, lots of good food, and now we're just going to probably have a drink and watch a movie and then go to bed. If you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next one. See you next week.